Good morning, everybody, and happy Earth Day. So yesterday was Tuesday, so that makes today Wednesday. It's Wednesday. What month is it, boys and girls? April. So what number is this? It's a two and a two, and it comes after 21. So it's 20, 21, 22 of what year, boys and girls? 2020. So the weather yesterday was windy and sunny. So what is the weather today? I am going to say that it is sunny and cloudy. I want to say it's mostly cloudy, at least early in the morning. Later on in the day, it could change. So now, we are going to do our ABCs and our numbers. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, are you ready to say the numbers nice and loud? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. So now we have our shapes. So we have our rectangle, star, octagon, square, triangle, heart, circle, oval, and diamond or rhombus. And now what are we going to do? Our colors. So we have brown, green, white, blue. Is this white, boys and girls, or is this white? This was gray, so this is white, yellow, orange, red, black, purple, and pink. Good job. So now what, are we, what we are going to do for the rest of the time is we are going to read one book by Mo Willems again, and then I'm going to show you three different Earth Day activities, crafts, that you could do in your own home. So this book is called The Itchy Book. It is by Leanne Pham, and it's part of the Mo Williams series, Willem series. Gerald, do you like books that make you feel things? I do. Do you like books that make you feel things all over? I do. Then I have the book for you. The itchy book? I feel you will love it. So it says, dinosaurs do not scratch. Dinosaurs do not scratch? Who knew? learn something new every day. Stop! What are you doing? I have an itch. I am going to scratch it. Look at the sign! Dinosaurs do not scratch. But I am itchy. Dinosaurs are tough. We do not scratch. Hmm. Ouch! Stop! What are you doing? I have an itch. I want to scratch it. Read the sign. Dinosaurs do not scratch. Are you a dinosaur or not? Of course I am a dinosaur. Who 
said I'm not a dinosaur. Some bird. Look, she has an itch too. She is a tough dinosaur. But it is super itchy down there. Hey guys, what are you doing? We are being tough dinosaurs. Grrr. My back is itchy. Would one of you tough dinosaurs scratch it for me, please? Hold it right there. What does the sign say? Dinosaurs do not scratch? Holy macaroni, guys! It's T-Rex! Stop! Do not hide! I will not eat you. I am not hungry. I am itchy. Can you scratch behind this tag, please? You tell him. What are they going to tell him? That dinosaurs do not scratch. Dinosaurs do not scratch. There is a sign. But I am so itchy. It is tough to be tough. We are tough dinosaurs. Tough dinosaurs do not scratch. Tough dinosaurs stick together. Let me show you. Make me itchy. Really? You want us to make you itchy? I will not scratch. Even if I touch you with the tip of this feather, I can take it. Even if I throw fresh cut grass on you, I'm tough. Wow, you are tough. Even if I put one itty bitty ant on you, I'm rough. Ooh, I really need to scratch. Eek! Even if I put this wool sweater on you, if I say I am not a dinosaur, can I scratch? How are you doing this? Dinosaurs do not scratch. What about dandelion seeds? Uh, dry leaves. Eek, a straw hat. Oof, daisies, yep, a caterpillar, Oy. sand from the beach, uh, hair from my last haircut, ah, a cat, Warg. and he's still not scratching. We did it, guys. It is like the sign says, dinosaurs do not scratch. Yawn. The turtle is moving. So do you think there's another word under? Let's see. Alone. So the sign says dinosaurs do not scratch alone. You dinosaurs look awful. Do you feel okay? We feel Itchy! Scratch, 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 scratch. So now they're all helping each other itch. Ah, wow, did that feel good. I cannot believe we waited for so long. We really are tough dinosaurs. The sign was right. I wonder why dinosaurs do not scratch alone. Uh, I have an itch. Can the turtle scratch himself? No, he
he's going to need somebody to help him. A good book. Scratches and itch. But... So does a good friend. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. So now I'm going to show you three different crafts that you can do at home. So for the first one, you are going to need a balloon and a paper plate and blue and green paint. So what you are going to do with it is you're going to either you can get another paper plate and put it down and put the blue and green on it. And then what you're going to do is dip the balloon in the paint. And then on your other paper plate, you can either hold it like this or this. You're going to go around and put the paint on the paper using the balloon. Paper or paper plate. As you can see, I did mine using green and a little blue. And this is how it turned out. So if you do this craft, please share your pictures with me so I can see how yours turned out. So now our next craft that you could do is an, another earth craft. So what you're going to need is crayons or markers, blue and green. You're going to need four circles. They could be any size. I used a cup to trace this out. Then once you trace and cut out your circles out of, off of paper, what I did before I even colored or anything was I took all four of them and I just folded them in half like this. So then I opened it up and we're going to do green and blue. Blue is for the what boys and girls? The ocean or the water and the green is for the land. So you could do whatever proportions you want. You could do a little land or a lot of land. It's up to you. You have four circles to do. So I'm going to make a big land and some smaller ones. And what you're going to do is color in the land. It's easier to do the land first because the water takes up the rest of the space. So then I'm going to color in my big land here. I find it easier to do it with crayons because it could cover more area in a little less time. I'm going to make one more land. And then it looks like this. So now I'm going to fill in the hall, the white, with the blue crayon so that it's the water. So it's going to take a little bit of time. I already did three out of the four, so I'm just showing you how to do one, and I will show you what we're going to do next with the four circles after I am done coloring in the water. I am almost done. <sighs> Okay, so I did the land and the water. So now what we're going to do with our circles, as you can see, we're going to make a little mobile. So with the four circles, you can close them all like this. And as you see, I already attached three together. So when you have the three like this, if you want to hang it up or display it somewhere, you can add a string to go down the middle but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you what it looks like at the end. So now what you're going to need is glue. So I am going to put glue all on this side. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to 
put this right on top and make sure that I seal it very well so it doesn't come apart that easily. And now we have my four different glands and water. So what do you think we're going to do next? We're going to glue both of these ends together so that it opens up. So I'm just going to put glue on one side. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to put the other end so that they match up like this and mush, mush them together or put them together and make sure you get it really good. And then voila, you have your earth. So you see I did this side, did this one, this one, and this side, which we did right now. So then you have a nice little earth craft that if you put a string, you can hang it up. And like I did, I did each circle a little different color because the earth is all different kinds of blue and green if you look at it. So if you decide to do this craft, take a picture of you with it and send it to me so I could see how you did that one. And then the final craft that I'm going to show you is using toilet paper rolls or the paper towel rolls. So you're going to need one or two, depending on how big they are, scissors and a piece of paper, some glue, and optional is paintbrush and paint. So as you could see, I already started. I'm making a flower. So what you're going to do with the scissors and this is you're just going to take it and you're going to cut strips out of the paper tube, the cardboard tube. And then once you're done cutting them out, I will show you what we're going to do with them. It does not matter what, how wide you make them. You can make them as wide or skinny as you want. So now they look like this. So what I did was I put some glue and I made the first ones into a flower. So now what we are going to do is make the stem. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to put this at the end of it. If you have the liquid glue, that would work just as well. And then I'm going to place it right here and make sure you press down so that it stays. And then I'm going to take one more from my stem and I'm going to put the glue on it like this. And I'm going to stick it down very well. So now with my stem, I want to make two leaves. So I'm going to take two more and I'm just going to do the same thing I was. Put the glue on the end and then stick it onto the paper and then I'm going to use one more like this and stick it right here. So now what I have is a flower that fell off. Okay so we're going to try to stick them on again. Maybe shouldn't do it that quickly by lifting it up. Should let it dry a little. So while it is drying or even before you put it on like I did I don't know if you could see it that well I used for the middle one I used yellow paint and for the petals I used purple I just did it around the top but if you want to paint it before you glue them on you could do that as well. So I am going to for this video I'm going to paint these green. And I will show you how I did it. So you're going to need green paint and a paintbrush. I'm going to take a little of the green paint. I'm just going to go over the top. And like I said, if you want to do the whole thing before you put them on, you are more than welcome. I want you to make it your own. 
you can make also any design you want you do not have to make a flower you could do the first letter of your name you can do the earth too or any other thing you want to make and if you do this craft i would like to see it as well so send me a picture and let me see how it goes so i showed you today three different earth day crafts that you could do in your home using supplies most most of us or some of us should have at home if you do not have the supplies at home you can use anything else so like the paper plate one with the balloon if you don't have a balloon you could just use your paint brushes to paint the earth on the paper plate or you could use cotton balls pom-poms you could be creative with all of it and if you do not have white paper you could even use newspaper to make these earths you could cut four circles out of the newspaper and put them together like this anything really that's reusing and recycling something and the same for this if you do not have the if you do not have any of these saved at home like i said you don't have to do the craft you could find something else to do it you could even just draw a flower or an herb on a piece of paper anything you want so if you decide to do any of these crafts which i hope you do i hope you send it to me and see now you have the stem which is green the petals which are purple and the middle that is yellow i hope you have a wonderful wednesday and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great day.